What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now in today's video, whew, I am so scared. This is probably gonna be one of the most scariest videos on my channel. Today, we're going to TJ Maxx. <laughs> I haven't been to TJ Maxx in 10 years now, bitch. I used to shop at Pick and Save, at Ross. Um, in high school, I was driven to Ross, girl. You could not find me anywhere else. Um, but it's been a few years since I've ventured down that route, and today I am going to dive into the TJ Maxx realm and see what kind of makeup they have there. Now, I've heard a few rumors from some friends of mine that TJ Maxx is where all my ex-friends go to die. <laughs> no, I can't confirm that. Um, but today we're going to do some investigating um, and we're going to see what kind of products are there, what brands have uh, been sent there for their graveyard, and um, then I'm going to come back home and try as much of it as I can handle <laughs> on my face. So we're going to do a full face of TJ Maxx makeup. But before we dive into that, I have a quick little giveaway I want to share with you guys. So let's talk. Now for today's giveaway, it is very simple. Let me show you the prizes, everybody. Now, first of all, we are going to be giving away two of the Morphe Jeffree Star Brush PR kits with the sponges. These have been seen all over the internet and we have given away a lot on Instagram, but now we are giving away um, two of these to two lucky winners. Hi, how are ya? What does the grand prize winner get? They get not only the Morphe Jeffree Star brush set, I am giving away one of the most exclusive Louis Vuitton bags to hit the market in a long time. Now this was just seen on the runway and this is the Prism Keep All. I know you guys have seen it on my Instagram. It is one of the most sought after bags in America, girl, and probably the world, because you know, fashion is crazy. So I want to give back to you guys and give away some brushes and this fabulous, amazing limited edition key ball. Now, what do you have to do to enter? All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And all you got to do after that is just leave a comment down below. Say hi, comment on the makeup, skim through, say how are you, and um, you will be entered. Now, when are we gonna announce the giveaway winners? The giveaway will be ending on February 25th, and the winners will be announced on my Twitter and Snapchat. And if you're watching this in the future, I'm so sorry, but there will be very, very many giveaways in the future. All right, now let's get to TJ Maxx, and let's pray for me. All right, so it almost started to snow. Uh, right before we started filming. If you saw me on Snapchat or IG stories, you saw that sleet and hail on my robe. So I thought the apocalypse was already here, and now we're about to enter the freeway. And if you want to take a quick peek, and if we can zoom way in the distance, uh, it might take us a minute to get to old TJ Maxx, girl, because the traffic's vicious. All right, so since we have some time before we get there, I have heard a few things about uh, what we're about to embark on. A lot of people said be careful because there's no testers in TJ Maxx. So I guess, you guys, there's uh, used makeup in there, allegedly. Um, and we have to watch for the seals because there's people that will like open the packaging and test it and then put it back. I'm like, girl, come on. So we're just gonna make sure that everything's sealed and good because I don't want, you know, whooping cough or pink eye. So we're gonna be really careful today. And Chris and Zach, have you guys shopped at TJ Maxx ever? I, I used to shop at TK Maxx in England. Okay, why did a lot of people told me that and I thought they were kidding. Yeah, it's, people overseas were like we have TK Maxx and I'm like mm. J and K are like close to each other in the alphabet. What's going on? Here? <laughs> <laughs> have you been there Zach in Michigan TJ Maxx? Honestly, I don't think I've ever been inside of a TJ Maxx. Hmm. Well, first time for everything. Um, I don't know why it's called that. Maybe someone can enlighten us please of why the letters are switched overseas, but um I have no idea, but we're about to exit. Traffic is crazy, and um, <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh, I see the sign. TJ Maxx and Ross, my old stomping grounds work. Is that Jeffrey? We're filming for my channel right now. Hi. Oh I love you. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, we're going to TJ Maxx to try a full face of makeup today. Oh my god, I wish I could come with you. <laughs> I know. It was so good meeting you, though. Good Bye, babe. You. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> so cute. Okay, we're gonna go around. And let's see what happens here. Oh my god. Let's find some parking. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh lord. Well, I just got cussed out in the parking lot already. <laughs> by a mom with an infant, and I didn't even do anything wrong. <laughs> Alright, this day is getting crazy. Hi, okay, I totally did. Sorry, I live around the corner from you. You are so, so funny. funny. I live for you. Oh my god, you're amazing. 
Go to sign your palette? Yeah, will you? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah, what's your name? Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. We're I'm shaking see. because I'm that girl. God, I'm so nervous. Okay, you guys, I found makeup and skincare. Um, I'm dying because in my uh, video where I followed Tana Moja's um, makeup, this is this is in the video. This is expensive water. So we're gonna have to grab this. Um, okay, I don't have anywhere to put my Himalayan Birkin, so we're just gonna set her there right now. Okay, so this is uh, some expensive water. We're gonna get her. Oh, girl, this looks like it was used and then put on sale, used again, and then put on sale. <sighs> Obviously not to be shady, if a brand has overstock of product, they do get sent to TJ Maxx and Marshall. So, you know I live for e.l.f., bitch. So, e.l.f., what are you doing over here, girl? Bubble mask, marshmallow soothing mask. This has been opened, but I'm still gonna take it home and see what happens, okay? I'm gonna take the risk. Okay, so let's find the makeup. She told me it was around the corner. Oh, there's already palettes right here. Hold up, hold up. <gasps> Physician's formula. Girl, I live for you. Is this Dior? Oh, it is not Dior, girl. What is all this? I've never even heard of this brand before. Okay, I mean, let's let's give it a whirl. Makeup Revolution, I love them. Let's give it a whirl. What shade is this? Let's try it. Okay, you know, uh, you know Anastasia is one of my best friends, um, and girl, I'm grabbing a contour kit here. All right, they they probably have so many contour kits in the world. They're like, let me just sprinkle some to TJ Maxx, this thing. Okay. Let's go in the main makeup aisle. We're gonna try to find as many items as we can. Look at these lashes. Ardell, what's good? Oh, we need some mascara. What is this brand? W7? I have never heard of that in my life. Love Physicians Formula, so we'll grab her. Let's try to find foundation. There's literally one bottle. The fuck? <laughs> Let's keep it moving here. Oh, we have a lip balm. Come on, sweet orange. Hi, Bertie. Um, okay, there's makeup brushes here. Oh, Japanese ain't bad. Oh my god, there's Real Technique sponges in here. These actually work really cute, $12.99. Okay, it's a little expensive for the store, but let's do it. Oh my god, a blackhead remover? <gasps> oh, girl. Oh, there's a pink one. Hi, blemish tool. How are ya? Okay, I'm not seeing lip products and foundation, really, so we're gonna have to investigate. Um, what's over here? <gasps> <laughs> I'll be over here. I found gold in TJ Maxx. Oh my god. 24 karat gold under eye masks. I'm getting this for me and Nate. <gasps> there's only one. How many are in here? We're sharing. Got it. Now there's literally three foundation colors here, people. You see that? She said this was the... the oh, excuse me. She said this was the um, only thing left. Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. So I'm gonna... This, this color is called Porcelain. It's probably too light because it's shade zero one so we're just gonna do a little peek here uh, what in the okay i'm not gonna test this in a store that is so not okay so let's just buy it for a laugh yeah there's literally one foundation shade for me all right you guys i think i got enough products to try out a lot of the face um, it's a little bare bones here, so let's go try to check out and then head on home. All right, so let's see what the grand total is gonna be. We got a lot of good stuff, so let's see what happens. The grand total is 102.10. All right, damn. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. Okay. Good job. See you soon. All right. Back in the studio, we are officially home, and baby, I got my bag. Now, before we even dive in, I'm already gonna use this, hi. So this was $9.99, usually it's like $14 or more. I've seen this for $20, but baby, TJ Maxx has the exclusive price point. So let's just do a little hydration. I'm scared, am I gonna, is something, is something gonna happen to me? Oh my God, that like really shot out at me. Ooh, it's like a geyser. Okay, my skin is glistening with water. Oh my god, did I just put too much on? Okay, so let's start 
Digging in this bag, let's see what the hell happened. So my grand total came out to $102.10. Not bad. That California tax though is vicious. The most expensive item we got is $16.99. Everything else was below uh, $8. Work. Okay. So we have the Real Technique sponges. I'm just going to pull out everything and we'll see what we're going to do today. Now I've never heard of this brand before. Nicole Miller. Impeccable color palette is designed to flatter every skin tone. This was $5.99 allegedly. It's uh, not tested on animals. It's made in China and it says for adult use only Let's see what else is in this bag. Oh the eye patches. Should we get Nate up here to try these in a second? I know he's eating right now, but maybe I'll slap some on myself for a quick laugh. We have brushes. Um, remember this was open So let's see if the marshmallow soothing mask has been used or not I can't imagine someone going into a store and actually using a mask and then leaving no, fully new. I think we got lucky. Mmm, smells kind of good. Okay, I'm gonna use this later. We all know there was no primer, sadly, there. So I'm just gonna, anything that I don't have, I'm just gonna, like, skip or use on my own, you know? So, obviously, we have one foundation. I am so scared of that, by the way. So we are about to see what is going to happen. All right. So I'm just gonna prime my skin. We obviously have no primer. Um, at TJ Maxx. So we're just gonna go in with my trusted and tried Bobbi Brown Enriched Vitamin face base. All right, so we're gonna try this gold over here. 24 karat gold under eye masks. Contains five masks, okay, so we can definitely share. Place one mask under each eye. Be careful to avoid eye contact. Leave on for 15 minutes. Oh my God, girl. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and pray it don't spill and squirt all over me. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little cutlet. All right, guys, here we go. This feels like a wet jellyfish. I fucking me. That's really what's happening here. Girl, are you gonna stick to my skin or do I gotta sue? It looks pretty though. What is that? Is that a tear from my nail already? Oh, wow. Look at that. It's like slime. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, guys, this is what's happening here. All right, we got 15 minutes to kill. I'm hungry. Oh, when that... That smell hits your nose, girl. All right, we got our little Hermes spoon. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. All right, while we're sitting here, let's try out the only foundation shade they had in stock. The Bare Minerals, now I've never used their foundation before, Pure Brightening Serum Foundation with SPF 20, oh boy. Shake, drop, and buff. One or two drops of foundation into your face brush. Ooh. All right, let's just swatch this because if this is gonna make me look ridiculous, we are not putting this on my skin. Oh my God, that sounds like fucking water. Oh wow. For being, this is shade 01. Oh, and it, it might not be that bad. Should we try it? Huh. Did I just pick my right shade? <laughs> the only option. <laughs> they had one shade, y'all. Oh my God, that really might work. I'm shook. All right, y'all, it's been 15 minutes. I don't know what the hell this did. Let's pray it hydrated, okay? It said to rub the juices into the skin. That's what I normally do. I don't know if it feels hydrated. It feels kind of like maybe a little Let's see what happens. I'm afraid makeup won't go over it now, but okay, that foundation looked like a perfect match. I don't know how. They literally had three bottles of foundation in that entire store. So if this really matches, <gasps> oh, this is gonna be good. Now it did say to use a uh, brush on the box. So we will do half the face with this Real Technique sponge. And then the other half, we will grab our JS1 foundation brush and we will do that as well. So I'm like, ooh, lordy. This is a weird applicator. I guess we're supposed to squeeze it. One or two drops. So if it's that full coverage, I don't want to go ham. So let's just see what happens. We'll do a little, little test right here. Smells like makeup. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Why does that like really match me? What the hell? TJ Maxx is like, we heard you were going to do this video, girl. Okay, let's just blend this into the skin. Don't forget the ear, bitch. Never forget the ear. Never forget the ear. 
Now, it's very luminous. It's definitely a little on the sheer side, but it's actually kind of pretty. I'm like, what is happening? Let's do the neck without ruining my outfit, which, let's pray for that. We'll just go right down the neck. Oh my God, I'm so scared of this. <laughs> oh, why did I wear white today? Let's try putting it over my tattoo a little bit and see how it looks, okay. I almost wanna do a second layer because this is a sponge. It did absorb some of the product, so let's just do a little bit more on my face right here. There we go. All right, so here is the blended outside with the sponge, and here is reality. I will say this, it is really pretty. I'm like a little shook about it. So let's take the Morphe Jeffrey JS1 Size Queen brush, and let's give it a whirl and see what the hell is gonna happen over here. Let's see what happens. Oh wow, I can already tell that it has more coverage with the brush, which I live for. If you're someone that just loves using a brush to apply your foundation, not to toot my own horn, but you really should try this because it blends like a dream, streak-free, and baby, it is everything. Um, I'm getting a lot of emails, bitch, where's the restock? It is coming very soon, maybe a few days, maybe not. I will announce it very soon on social media, of course. Okay, back to the review. This is definitely a lot more heavy on this side. It's really shiny, almost like I'm sweating. With the sponge, it's not that bad. It's still a little luminous, but girl, it almost looks way too oily right now. I'm a little shook about it. And this was about three to four drops, so maybe with the brush I applied too much, but you know, we'll see how it settles in a minute. All right, I'm just gonna follow my normal steps like I would. Now there was no concealer there, so I'm just gonna uh, grab a concealer real quick. We'll just go in with Fenty really fast and just buff this out. This foundation is so weird. It's not drying like I thought it would. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's interesting. All right, I have never looked this dewy in my life. I can't wait to get some setting powder on my skin. God, Lord help me. I'm gonna go in with the Chanel Universal Loose Powder. And girl, we're just gonna dip right in with this Real Technique sponge. Let's go right under the eye and pray that this mats down a little bit, cause girl, this is nuts. The powder is almost like darker than this foundation. That's so weird. By the way, Chanel's an Ulta now. Does everyone know that? A little shook. Um, all right, so let's just press this in all over where I put the concealer. The foundation, when the setting powder is on top of it, is actually kind of nice. I'm like, huh, all right, work. All right, now we're gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I used this on my channel when it first came out a while ago. I love it. Um, and it's $16.99, so this was the most expensive item there. As you guys know, this retails for like $27 plus. Dollars. Um, so... You definitely got a steal on that. I already know this formula very well. I love it. I would always go in with this shade. This under the eye is really pretty. But right here, let's just contour these cheeks, bitch. And let's give it a whirl. I like this formula because it blends really easy. As you see, that took like one second and it just goes on the skin. So girl, if you find this at TJ Maxx, it is a good find. All right, bitch, we are sculpting this face. And if anything is too harsh, I'm just taking a little um, brush right here. And we're just going into this top left one and just kind of, bam, softening her up. High contour. All right, now if you see this right here, those are my glasses, the mark of the glasses. I get asked a lot, how do you fix that? Well, if you put makeup on after the dents, you kind of screw yourself like I did, but hey, I had to review this. Now, moving on, there wasn't much highlighting going on. Uh, at TJ Maxx today. So we grabbed the Makeup Revolution Candy Queen of Hearts, a triple baked blusher, which I know has some highlight uh, to it. This looked like it was kind of already open. Let's investigate. Oh no, there it is, okay. It might be a little too dark for me. Let's give it a little finger swatch. Okay. I really thought there was gonna be some highlight in there, but it looks a little ashy. And we also have the Physician's Formula Ultra Nourishing Argon Oil Powder that is allegedly giving me a luxurious radiant glow. Mm-hmm, we're gonna see about that. I have never tried this before, but I don't know what to expect. Maybe one side Physician's, one side makeup. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a fingerprint on this. My hands have no makeup, right? We could all contest to that. Bitch, what the fuck is that? I opened that and that would already look like that. People warn me online. Jeffrey, people test these. Okay. There's another one. Oh, over here. Okay, let's open it. 
Okay, that looks new. Let's check the powder. Has it been swatched by a finger? No, it looks perfect. I'm gonna do it. Let's use it. It looks new, like come on you guys, fuck it, right? Okay. So the sparkle that was just in that middle center is now evaporated. How's the glow, be honest, I don't wanna look. <laughs> You're laughing? What, is it not blinding? Let me try again. The brush is coated, don't try me. Hello. Moving on, let's try this one, yes! Let's try a different brush. Kate okay, got it. That's coated, okay? That has to look like something. This foundation's disgusting, actually. Like, it's been... <laughs> you know that up close, this is looking a little rough. Like, I really thought the foundation was sickening the house, but really, zoom in on my, uh... Look at that! Oh my god, and that's not the brush or the sponge. I'm so sorry. All right, I want to zoom in a little bit here. This is, like, usually you can take the sponge and manipulate product back. I think it's the foundation. Like, look at that. Like, girl, that is rough right there. Oh my god, zoom out. I'm insecure. <laughs> okay, it looks like I went outside for, like, five hours with some sunglasses on on this side, and then I, like, took them off, and it's, like... What the fuck, man? Why me? I, first of all, this is too dark for me. I know there's lighter shades in this formula, but like, it kind of didn't do much, so. Okay, um, okay, we're gonna move on because I don't know what to say about that one. I'm truly, really just shook about that. Okay, so moving on, let's do eyes. Eyeshadow, we got a few moments. This, we got this guy and we got some other ones, but this is like the main, the main, uh, thing. So let's prime our eyes like we do in every single review on this channel with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot Eye Primer. We're just gonna coat our entire lids and brow bone area. You guys, I really want to do a video where I grow out my eyebrows, but that would take weeks and I don't know if I can hang that long. Um, but I may try because it's been, I don't know, 15 years since I've had actual brows. I'm really scared how they would look, but um, I wanna give it a go, so let me know what you feel about that. All right, these lids are primed. Is this eyeshadow palette gonna work? There was not a lot of options there. Um, so we're gonna give this a whirl. Let's dive into the pretty shimmer eyeshadow palette. Okay, let's see what is going to happen. Now it says shimmer palette, even though there's a lot of matte shades in here, so that's a little weird, but we're gonna give it a whirl right now. So we're gonna go in with the JS6 Morphe Jeffree brush, and we're just gonna hit this shade right up here. Kinda smells like the Bad Baby palette, not bad, but let's see what happens. I feel like I'm being played. Look, I'm putting so much on the brush, ready? Okay, it's kind of there. Let's go in with a Gucci brush. This is TJ Maxx, okay? Let's bring it. Let's bring a Gucci eyeshadow brush in the mix here, Miss Thing. I'm gonna go in with this little, no, let's do this color, beautiful little orange, and let's see what happens. Hmm. You know what's crazy? It's not the worst shadow in the world. I've seen worse where it like really evaporates in thin air. This has a little bit of color. I wish it was a little richer. It feels kind of dry. Like I could already tell the formula from, you know, I, I make eyeshadows, right? This is the type of shadow that may fade after like 30 minutes. I don't know that officially, but just the way I'm seeing it apply, it's not sticking to the skin that great, but it doesn't look the worst. So let me match the other side and let's keep going. Now we're gonna go in with the JS5 blending brush and let's deepen this eye a little bit. Let's go over here, top right, and let's see what we got going on over here. All right, the brush looks coated. Let's see how it applies on the eye. Not bad, I don't know what to expect. Yeah, it's pretty light. I'm, I'm actually looking in the mirror like, girl, I have to stop lying to myself. Like, bitch, this is a little sheer. Okay, I don't know what's happening. I'm so confused. I used my own primer and then the foundation. Maybe it's that, but on this side, it like itches right here where it's separating. So I'm like, should I be panicked? Should I be worried? Like, I really don't know. I like keep bouncing this over it to like itch it and it's not, Oh. You guys, I have been doing makeup for so long. When you take a sponge and you barely do that, that should not happen. I'm 
horrified the house. I'm gonna take this foundation brush again. See, it doesn't have any product though. Should I take a drop or should I keep moving? I mean, this looks horrifying. I'm gonna take a tiny bit. I'm afraid. What is the ex? This could be expired, honestly. This foundation could be expired. Oh my God, I have a huge meet and greet. Like, that, like tomorrow, so. Let's pray this doesn't give me a chemical burn. Okay, so it kind of looks better there, right? We can all agree, kinda. Let's take setting powder like this Charlotte Tilbury and just press it on top because bitch, something weird's happening. Now, I've been doing this for a long time, but it still looks weird. What is going on? Okay, I'm scared. Let's keep moving forward because who knows what's happening underneath the skin. <laughs> all right, so off camera real quickly, we were a little shook and Chris just said that in the three years Three and a half, almost, years of filming. What did you just say? I've never, I've never seen anything like that. That, yeah, I, listen, we're just gonna keep moving forward. So let's try another shade. Let's go in here. Let's just smoke out the under eye so I don't look like, I don't know, let's try to finish this look real quick. I mean, it's really light. So if you need an eyeshadow palette that barely sticks, this is it. All right, let's try a shimmer shade. It says shimmer eyeshadow palette, so let's give it a whirl. By the way, I just realized that this font and packaging is definitely a ripoff of Kylie because she did something very similar last year. Whatever. Okay, so <laughs> let's go in with the bottom right. This is a shimmer shade. We're gonna go in with the Morphe 166 brush. Oh wow, that is so powdery for a metallic. Here we go. Chris, stop. Um. <laughs> And for its next trick, this eyeshadow vanishes instantly. Where the fuck is it? Hello? It's barely there. Oh my god. Bitch. I'm like, uh, I really want to give this a fair go, but some days it just it ain't happening. Shimmer my fucking ass. Okay, let me take a finger to another shade. What about this frosty white one? I mean, it looks, it ain't look too bad on the finger, but it just feels like chalk. Let's be really real here. Let's just pat this on the lid. Oh, beautiful. Okay, guys, I, listen. Okay, this palette, it, it, it may not just be for me. So let's move on now and let's try some mascara. All right, so Physician's Formula, and I don't know what the hell this is. Let's go with the yellow one. I live for Physician's Formula, but this is, I've never seen this before. It says false what does it say? <laughs> false effect lashes. It should say false lashes effect, but hey, it's all good. This is $2.99. It's made in China. It's, uh, let's see what happens. This is literally cocooned in this fucking plastic. Jesus. You know what's crazy is this matte soft touch yellow. I actually really like the component. Like I'm not mad at it. It feels really cool. Oh, wow. Hmm. Interesting. Here we go. Well, this brush is so big, I just bumped my stunning eyeshadow. I've, listen, I've tried a lot of mascara on my channel. I almost went blind once trying it last year. I will say this, this is pretty sheer. Like, I have really cute lashes and bitch, they are not at their best performance right now. Like, it's pretty sheer, I gotta admit. It's not giving me length. What is all this extra powder just sitting up here? Um, yeah, this ain't it, sis, I'll tell you that. All right, let's go in with this 399 Physician's Formula uh, Lash Contour. Contour contortionist? Wow, love that word. All right, let's try the bottom. Uh, look at this, this is the component. Let's try the bottom lashes with this and let's see what happens. Oh, this looks, okay, this was definitely sealed, but look at that wand. Oh my, it's a little rough. Like it looks like it's already been used, but I think that's just the product. I can't imagine my lashes separating. Look at the product clumping in there like that. Girl, mm -mm. I can't do it, it's gonna look Horrifying. I guess we're gonna go back in with this stunning moment. All right, bottom mascara ain't too bad. Now, if you were to like stand really far back and squint, <laughs> I don't look too bad. But besides that, uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened today. Um, there was no lip products at TJ Maxx. Girl, they were sold out. They had nothing except this Burt's Bees Sweet Orange lip balm. So I guess we're gonna put that on. We got no lipstick today. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm embarrassed. Oh. It's like that. Definitely smells like oranges. Let's warm it up in the back of my hand. Mm, okay. It smells like a vitamin C pill, to be honest. I have foundation on my lips, obviously, so there's that. And, uh, all right. Uh, there was no setting spray. There was no blinding highlight. There was no lipstick at TJ Maxx. I'm officially sad. And this has been interesting. Should we all take a deep breath and do my final thoughts? 
<sighs> All right, the only thing approved today, <laughs> which I've already used on my channel, like I said before, is the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is an amazing formula. I live for it. Um, a lot of people use this in their kit and at home. Everything else today, I don't know. The foundation with the sponge wasn't too bad and then once it settled on the skin, it just went down south. Like, I don't know what happened there, but since I wiped it off and reapplied, the itching stopped. Isn't that weird? I didn't do anything different. I don't know, I, I really can't figure it out. I had tried a million things before. I don't know if the primer reacted weird with the foundation. I can't imagine how or why. I've used this with every foundation I've reviewed mainly, so I'm a little uh, shaken and stirred today. So, this was interesting. I have never bought may uh, makeup at TJ Maxx before, so today was a first for me. Um, it was fun, definitely. Uh, I feel like we're watching Chris Angel and a lot of magic tricks happened, so. Um, sound off below. What the hell do you guys think about everything? Have you guys tried makeup there? Let me know the tea, and of course, do not forget to enter my giveaway if you did not see the intro. Rewind it and go enter. All right, you guys, I will see you on the next video. <sighs> Pray for me.